Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about a scenario wherein if you refresh the dashboard on a Monday, you need to see the sales amount including the weekends which is Saturday and Sunday. But when you refresh the dashboard, let's say on a Wednesday, you only need to see the data for that particular day which is Wednesday. So how let's see how we can create a measure to achieve this particular result so let's get started with this tutorial so i'm going to create a new measure over here so i'm going to break down this measure uh, so that you will understand things better so i'm going to call this as dynamic sales i'm going to create a variable over here i'm going to define this variable as date is equals to today i'm going to define another variable here i'm going to call this as date underscore check is equals to and it's I'm going to show you the weekday function and I'm going to display what this is going to return so weekday if my weekday let me pass in the date over here which is going to be the variable that we have created date underscore variable which is equals to nothing but today's date so I'm going to say date underscore comma and then it asks for second argument which is either one two or three one meaning that your week starts on a sunday two meaning that it's your week starts on a monday so in this case let us use the second example wherein we are saying that our week starts on a monday and then i'm going to close the bracket over here and then whenever you define a variable you need to also have a return statement i'm going to say return date check for now and I'm going to commit this particular measure and let's go back. Now, let me just bring in this particular measure into a card. So the value that I have from this particular measure is six. So today is Saturday. That's why it's showing six. And we said that our week starts on a Monday by mentioning two over here. If I change this to one, what happens? So it says that our week starts on a Sunday and today is this today is Saturday which is the last day of the week hence it, this is showing as 7 so let's continue with 2 over here so we have the value as 6 right for example if I change this to let's say to a Monday's date right so Monday's date was oh, I have over here which is 6th of February so if I enter date uh, 2023 comma 02 comma 06 which is a Monday and close this bracket and press enter we've passed this particular value into this particular date variable and it is displaying that Monday is one meaning that it is the first day of the week so I hope you are clear with this particular concept of using weekday function now let's use the if function to define our logic so I'm gonna use the if function here just before the weekday function so if my weekday is equals to one, then I want my date variable that I have over here needs to be subtracted with two over here, meaning that this will give us today minus two. So if it is Monday, it's going to return the Saturday's date. All right. So if it is not, then I need just date. I don't need this particular variable to get subtracted by any of the date so let me close the bracket press enter and you will see what is happening so if today's date is 6th of february which is a monday then it will return saturday's date which is 4th of february if this is let's say 8th of february it is not a monday but it is a wednesday if it is 8th of february then it will just return 8th of february all right now that we have achieved this let us now calculate the sales amount so let's define another variable here called as sales underscore is equals to I'm going to use the calculate function calculate sum of my sales amount. If you already have the sales measure, you can just pass in the measure over here instead of doing the sum. And then I'm going to use the filter function filter. And then the first argument over here is it's asking us for the table. In my case, the name of the table is sales over here comma I'm over here I'm gonna say if my order date is greater than or equals to date check 
and then I'm going to add another condition so that it filters the sales value only for the date which is less than or equals to today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ampersand twice over here, meaning that this is going to be an and function. It's going to look for this condition as well as the second condition that I'm going to mention over here. I'm going to say if my order date is less than equals to date. Remember over here I'm passing in the date check variable and on the second line over here second condition over here I'm passing in the date variable and then I'm going to close the bracket once twice so that the calculate functions gets completed and then I'm going to press enter and still it is returning date check over here I have to change the return here to return me the sales amount instead of the date I'm going to press enter now I'm getting blank sales over here. The reason why I'm getting this is because I made an error over here. So instead of passing in the uh, second month, I passed in the eighth month. So that's why I got that particular details. So my date now over here is 6th of February 2023, which is a Monday. And you will see that we've now got the sales amount as 3927. So our condition was if it is a Monday, then we need to calculate the sales amount for Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So let's see if this is showing us the right result. So let me come over here and filter for 5th, 6th, sorry, 4th, 5th and 6th of February, 4th, 5th and 6th of February. And you will see that we, have, we are now getting the sales amount as 3927, which is exactly what we have in these three days. And that is what is being mentioned over here. And if I select all and if I let's say change the date value in the measure that I have over here, let me change this to today. This is what you should be using in your measure if you want to calculate today's date and press enter. So this is going to consider today's date which is today is a Saturday and my sales amount for today is 609. That is exactly what is being mentioned over here. This is how you can create a dynamic measure which will filter the sales amount based on the day that you are refreshing the dashboard. Now, if you have any other logic, you can just play around with this and match it to your particular requirement and it will work. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.